Oh, that's a little close for my liking. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing good, drinking water, and thriving. I, for one, am not drinking water. Not at the moment. I'm drinking coffee out of this mason jar with a reusable straw, because we love to save the planet. It's also like 5 p.m. as I drink this coffee, and that's a little bit unacceptable, but only I can judge me. Because there's no one else here to- well, I guess now that I filmed it, there's thousands of people to witness it. Anyway, let's just- let's just move on. Earlier today, I randomly decided that I wanted to film a Q&A today really bad. And the only reason I really want to film a Q&A is because I want to give you guys content, and because I haven't filmed the q and in like eight months. So I decided I want to do another Q&A to kind of update you guys on my life, to answer the questions that you might have, and other stuff like that. I haven't even looked at the questions, so who knows what you guys are gonna ask me. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram with no context, I didn't tell you what it was for, but it's truly just for a video, so am I gonna be able to go this video without speaking in a British accent? The first question is very wholesome, it says, how are you, really? It's the lacking self-awareness for me, how am I? Do I know? I think I'm doing pretty okay. A lot better than I was like a few months ago, for sure. A lot of things that are going on in my life are starting to go really well for me. A lot of new experiences happening for me. A lot of really fun things that I have planned for the future that are coming up that I'm so excited about. So I think things are going pretty okay. Someone asked me for my skincare routine because I do be glowing. You think I glow? I'm gonna keep it so honest with you guys, I barely have a skincare routine. I've tried to do skincare routines on this channel before because I wanted to be like, relatable. You know, everyone does their skincare routine on YouTube. And I wanted to fit in with all those people who always do their skincare routine on YouTube, but truly, I'm not like into skincare. That sounds really bad. I care about my skin. Truly, I just wash my face and put on moisturizer every day and that's it. Is it the mental illness? Is it me not caring? Is it me being lazy? Probably all the above. I love you, bestie. I love you, bestie. Someone just said makeup tutorial. Um, I've done like makeup routines on my channel before. Never anything too in depth because I'm not good at makeup. I only wear makeup that just like enhances what I already have going on. But if that's what you really want to see again, who am I to say no to the people? Celebrity crush, girl edition. Oh, trust me. It would have been a girl even if you didn't specify. I have a lot of celebrity crushes. Not really people that I stand, but just like celebrity women that if they ran me over with a truck, I would be perfectly content with that. Zendaya, Kristen Stewart, Sydney Sweeney, Megan Fox, Anya Taylor-Joy, Aubrey Plaza, Blake Lively, oh, Barbie Ferreira. Honestly, the entire female cast of Euphoria. Someone said, what is your college major? I used to study journalism and now I study music business. Someone said, hi. How did you know you liked girls? I'm very much questioning my sexuality right now and I don't know what to do. That's something that's completely normal. I feel like a lot of people at one point or another are going to go through things like that where they don't know and that's completely okay. There's even adult people who go years of their life thinking they know who they are and then they later realize that it wasn't them and they question their sexuality when they're a whole adult. It's 100% a you thing and it's not up to anyone else. Even if you change your mind a hundred million gazillion times, that's okay. It's a confusing thing. I think a big part of coming to terms with it and realizing what your sexuality is is just time and experience. I'm not talking about like experience with dating people. You should never let someone look you in the eye and be like, how do you know you've liked a girl if you've never been with one? I will literally punch you in the mouth. I just mean it might become a little bit easier as you continue to grow up and meet new people and have different experiences and learn new things about yourself and the world. And once again, it's different for everybody. For me personally, it was such a gradual thing. Like when I was a really, really little kid, I had like crushes on boys or that's what I thought when I was a kid. And I think a part of it is just from living in a society where that's what's normal or considered normal right from the get-go. You think that you're supposed to like boys if you're a girl. So that's what I thought and <laughs> I did that. But then as I got a little bit older, especially in middle school, I started to realize that I really did not care about them. And my friends who did care about them would be having conversations about them and like having actual crushes on boys and like starting to actually go out with them. And then I had this moment where I was like, wait a minute, I don't want to do that. And then when I was in like, I'd say when I was like 14 is when I really started to realize like, hey, I think girls are really pretty. And I think a big part of what helped me realize that that was okay and that it was normal, unlike what people tell you, is seeing like the representation of it. Like when I see my favorite celebrities on stage praising the gay community, or if I see 
a girl with another girl in a TV show or a movie. That's what really helped me become okay with what I was feeling. Then I started developing real feelings for girls. I had crushes on them. I wanted to be with them. I wanted to experiment with them and it became clear to me. And I still had times when I wasn't sure. Like I said, it takes a minute. There were so many times even when I started like dating girls and kissing girls and I was like, okay, I like girls. There was still some times in my head where I would be like, wait, but do I like boys? And sometimes you can trick yourself into thinking that you do just because it's easier. But I'd say you'll definitely know when you come to terms with it. It's just like such a self kind of thing. And even though it seems really confusing and hectic now, You'll get there, like I said, with time and life experience, and that's perfectly okay. Take your time and don't let anyone rush you. Whew, had to get a little bit serious there for a second. What's your next YouTube video about? It's a Q&A, but don't tell anyone. In your opinion, what's the best Jolly Rancher flavor? Blue? My phone was dying in the middle of this video. Are we surprised? Who's surprised? Exactly. What's your favorite character from Friends? Chandler. Where do you get your clothes from? OMG, they're cute. I mentioned before in a video how I typically get all of my clothes from thrift stores and I hate saying that because it sounds really obnoxious, but I mean it. I love to wear a lot of like sweatshirts and sweaters and button ups and flannels and like weird printed graphic t-shirts and all of those things are so easy to find from my local thrift stores but when i buy like accessories and stuff i usually get them from like online shops but i like to find little online shops sometimes via instagram sometimes i look up recommendation threads on twitter like especially etsy shops but if i'm not thrifting and i'm not buying from like online shops sometimes i get clothes from tilly's though in the mall vans the van store sometimes has like cute shirts i don't even know but i really don't have any places where i'm just like specifically a shopper there do you want to have kids probably i don't love the idea of being pregnant that's probably not for me not for i respect the pregnant community but it just ain't me but i do think i want kids i'm a very big like family person and i've always loved kids my job when i was in high school was with kids and my job like throughout the summertime i used to love being like a camp counselor when i was a teenager i'm still a teenager girl you're talking like you're 30. But yeah, just like a few years ago, I always, my jobs were always in childcare, even in the summer. So it'd be kind of weird if I just like never had any. And my mom would probably kill me too. She wants grandchildren. I can't let my brother pull all the weight in this family, so. What dye did you use to dye your hair? I love it. Whenever I do anything to my hair that has to do with hair color, I always use Wella products. Wella, please run me my money. I always talk about you in my videos. Why are you so cool? Me. Yeah, I'm really cool. I watched a murder documentary in the shower this morning while I was drinking an iced coffee. Wow! Sounds pretty cool if you ask me. What's the story behind the name Jasmine? Nobody's ever asked me this before. My brother actually named me Jasmine after the princess from Aladdin. And that sounds so made up, but it's just not. So when I was in the hospital, my brother was the one who was like, Jasmine, and my mom went with it. So I'm quite literally named after Aladdin the movie, which is so funny because I love that movie. That's one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. Not just because of my name, just because of the story in general. And then we decided to name my dog after the tiger from Aladdin, Raja. So it's kind of cute. That's not really a question, but I just bought my first gay item, Doc Martens, please be proud. I'm so proud of you. Everyone give them a round of applause. That's amazing. I remember when I bought my Doc Martens. <laughs> favorite song at the moment. I have two current favorite songs that are kind of random, but if you want to listen to either one of them, do yourself a favor and bless your ears because I love them. The first one is called Swooner by the Zolas. So good. I love the Zolas. They're this like Canadian band that I discovered when I was in high school because there was this girl from Canada who used them in her vines all the time. And then I just fell in love with the Zolas and I recently rediscovered my love for them. So I went back and listened to the album of theirs that I'd never heard before. And that song is just, they have a lot of good songs. You should check them out in general, but. And then also Blind by Role Model has been stuck in my head for the past few days. What is your favorite ride at Disney World, Florida slash Epcot? My favorite ride at Disney World in Orlando is Jungle Cruise. And my favorite ride at Epcot is probably Soarin', which is really basic, but. Do you have a girlfriend? Well, personally, my favorite color is blue. I think it's just so pretty how it looks like in the sky. The light blue, it's really nice with a cloud. How's your iconic brother? Don't feed his ego like this. Someone said, I'm bi and I haven't come out yet. What do you suggest? This is kind of similar to what I was saying earlier about like coming to terms with your sexuality. It's a you thing, same thing. Like with coming out, it's a you thing. I think it should be done however you want. 
and whenever you want. Everyone has different coming out stories. Everyone does them differently. Everyone does them at different times in their life. Maybe you're not ready to yet and that's okay. You should never let someone like force you out of the closet. It sucks enough that we in society have to even come out because that's something that's just so terrifying and vulnerable. Even if you have the most accepting family in the world, it's still so scary. So I'd say just do it however it makes you comfortable. I had to come out multiple times to different parts of my family and my friends and the internet because I was ready to tell certain family members when I wasn't ready to tell others and there were certain family members I wanted to tell face to face and certain that I wasn't ready to tell face to face and I just did it how I wanted to because that's what I was comfortable with. I sat down and I told my mom face to face and then I waited a little bit and then I sat down and told my dad face to face completely separately from each other. I texted my aunt a big long paragraph about it and then she called me on the phone and we talked about it. I, when I did it with my grandma, it was a completely different time. I talked to her on the phone about it. It was just like very different for different people in my life because that's how I wanted it to be. I did it how I was comfortable with doing it. And that goes for how you phrase it too. You don't have to sit down and be like, I'm bisexual, if that's not what you want to come out of your mouth. When I came out to my mom, it was when I had a girlfriend at the time, back in like 2018, I think. And I didn't even tell her that I'm gay, I just said, I have a girlfriend, because that's what I felt comfortable with at the time. And then over time, you know, I was able to answer more questions about it and really let her get to know my sexuality. But at the time when I first wanted to come out, I wasn't ready to say those words, like I am a lesbian, I am gay, so I just said I had a girlfriend and that's all she needs to know. Whatever makes you the most comfortable is definitely the route to go. So it said, why did you go back to dark hair? Going back to my natural hair color was something that was like actually a really hard decision for me. It still stings a little bit. But yeah, the idea was going back and forth in my head for a while, like should I dye my hair back to black? And then I finally decided that I had to because my hair was so unhealthy when it was blonde, I had to bleach it all the time. And the thing about that was like, it's cause my roots were growing out and they were dark and I hated it. I wanted my whole head to be blonde. So then I would dye my roots blonde, but then it wouldn't match the blonde like of the rest of my hair. So then I would have to like bleach the rest of my hair a lot, like over and over again. And it was damaging my hair so severely that I couldn't stand to wear my hair unless I had extensions in all the time. So I was like, you know what? I'm not paying all this money to go and get my roots fixed every month. And I also don't want to keep damaging my hair. So I'm going to dye it back to its natural color give it a breather, stop putting heat on it, keep cutting it and letting it grow and let it get healthy. And then maybe later down the road, if I wanna try a different color, we can go see a professional. What's your favorite thing about winter? Nothing. What's on your Christmas list? Love and affection, emotional stability. Are you planning on getting new tattoos soon? Yes, I think I mentioned in a video recently. Yeah, in my last video, I wanna get an angel tattoo, like up here somewhere. And I wanna get like a baby angel, kind of like this. Thank you guys for asking me your questions. I always have a lot of fun doing sit down videos where I can kind of just talk to you. I'm really sorry if I didn't answer yours. I had a lot of responses and my camera's about to die in good Jasmine Zaid fashion. Everything's just dying. Keep your spirits up everyone. Christmas is almost upon us and the new year is almost upon us. We are going to escape the clutches of 2020 soon. I love you. I love you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sending me your questions and I'll see you in my next video. That was kind of annoying.